up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up uh, 346. NASDAQ is up 86. S&P's up 29. Gold contract down $4.40 trading at 1721 an ounce. You get silver up 18 cents, $15.77 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 65 cents, $24.20 a barrel. Notes and bonds. We get the 10 year right now trading down six ticks, 139.03. The 30 year off a full point plus three ticks at 180.01 and King Dollar. King dollar up 50 cents, trading at 99.936. The euro is at 108. The yen is out here trading at 106.63, and the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Your, your mic is not on, Tom. Every time. Sorry about that. Uh Good Friday morning, I said. Lots of action out there. Pretty historic day. 20.5 million jobs lost in the month of April. Big number. A big number, folks. There's no doubt. And the real question is going to be, uh, number one, uh, you know, how many of those uh, want to come back to work right now? Because what you do have is that uh, there's many of those jobs that are basically getting paid more until July 31st. No, June 31st. Uh, Not to, I mean, just adding into it, right, you have, uh, there was something like 7.7 .7 million in retail okay. um, and restaurants, I think, was the number. And that those can't jump back when when you're at 25 percent capacity, even if you're opening. Right. You're saying some places are opening, some places aren't opening even at all. And even if they are, you're at 25, then it's going to be what, 50, maybe 75. So we'll see how that it's going to it's not going to be instant, to say the least. No, no, it's not. So let's go take a look at this market. We have the S&P's, uh, the S&P's right now. Uh, bottom line, you're up 30, 30 bucks. That being said, uh, bottom line is that uh, this still is not enough juice for a higher price you know we what, you, what you're gonna see out here when we got the number out uh, at uh, 830 uh, you popped up to uh, 2918 uh, bottom line that being said uh, guess what uh, that first bark on the way down they sold that down pretty quick they sold it down uh, 22 points uh, in 10 minutes on the open and that's yeah. what we're coming into right now so the, the benchmark out here is that 2911 right now folks okay uh, you know, we came down, we did 69,000 contracts on the way down. And let's see well, how much. Yeah, we're in the, the, this bar, we're nine minutes into a 10 minute bar with 27,000. That, bo that bottom line, that's telling me we're not going to hold out here. Um, so it's a, the market is saying, okay, what are you going to do for me now? You gave me uh, the job losses, we gave, we're at 14% uh, unemployment, big number. Um, yes. You know, that is the largest number since the De Great Depression. Yeah. Um, but the Great Depression, I believe we went up to, what, 25? I heard you on the... Uh, yes, I, it was it was exceeding these levels yeah. for sure. And, yeah. you know, I mean, you could see some optimism, though, around 14. Because if it's 14, maybe we do rebound to 7 or 8. And then we're able to get to 4 or 5 in, in a year or two or something like that. I, I'm just speculating, you know, completely. Yeah. But at 14, man, because, yeah, it's all not going to come back overnight. But there are going to be massive hirings when massive companies that have laid off hundreds of thousands of employees just by themselves start to bring back 20, 30, 40 percent of their workforce. Yes, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, we take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities out here this morning. What we have is that you have the, let's see, who's the top one? Uh, Uber. Uber Technologies up above right. 31. Uh, you got uh, American Airlines up 43. Who knows why? Uh, Delta is up <laughs> to 17. You got Carnival up uh, 43. Roku is down yeah. four bucks. Nothing heavy there. Boeing's up four and a half dollars. Um, inside the NDX 100, we had a huge amount of numbers last night, folks, uh, in the marketplace in general. So yeah. the leaders inside the NASDAQ 100, you got United up seven and a half percent. Lamb Research is up five. That's a good hit there. Monster Beverage up 4.9, taken away from it. Cognizant Technology down three and a half, Liberty down a two, and you got 
uh, DocuSign off uh, 1.3. So, can we go over to Disney? Yes. Um, because you know, if you head on over to the front page of TFNN, I have a morning market report up there today. So, one of the cool things, man, um, about this is that you know the Disney story. This is, and I talk about it in here just to pull up some of the bullet points. So. They open Shanghai on Monday. Yes. And they're going to open at 30% capacity, approximately 24,000 people. China, obviously, an enormous country. Um, so that they can staff it, they can keep people social distance. They're going to require mask wearing, more frequent cleaning, temperature checks. Well, they sold out in literally minutes for the website from the 11th through the 14th. They're sold out on the 16th and the 17th. Um, if things jump back that quickly here, now we have some time to go, but great signs there. And that with the news that they're opening Disney Springs May 20th. So are you familiar with Disney Springs? Kind of an outdoor mall is like how I, you okay. know, shops, is restaurants. Is that in Florida? It is. That's huh? at that's at Disney. Okay. You don't need a t you don't need a ticket though. It's a, it's a you know you 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 park you go in. So it would make sense that they could open. It's retail. Sure. It's yeah. it's some um, so they're going to open in the 12th. I mean encouraging signs that they can't keep tickets fast enough even at 30 no. percent over in Shanghai. No, it's huge. It's huge. Yeah. And that you know, I. People want to get out. The real, I, I was I, surprised to hear that almost, but it makes sense, right? People want to get out exactly. Yeah. They're they're willing to take um, they're willing to take a little chance to uh, to to get out of their house and go do something really fun, man. Yeah, I think it's gonna the it's gonna be a couple months from now that you have, yes. you have the folks that come out, <laughs> then the businesses are gonna start having the expenses, folks, and that's where the question is gonna be. Your expense ratio versus the cash that's coming in yeah. after you know you get, you get a full blown place opened, expenses go up, you know, when these places have been closed, I mean, someone like Disney still had big expenses because, yeah, the upkeep. Sure. Um, but, you know, going forward, that that's what yeah. everyone's going to be looking at. There's, so, un I was just going to jump to, so under, on the morning market report, right, going yeah. through, I mean, we talked about the NASDAQ, it's pretty cool, man, the NASDAQ, now where are we trading at right now, the NQ, 91.57, okay, um, but we were trading at 91.67, pretty close, I mean, check out the retracement levels here on the NASDAQ, right, you're talking about from 97.63, in the middle of February to 66.28, and we've ne we're now 80% of the losses we've got back. Now a lot of those companies are almost positive, almost right, Amazon um, and so forth. But a remarkable level, man, of an acceleration. Not to mention we're like three to four percent in the positive for 2020. For the year, I know. The year, I know. It's pretty yeah. intense. It's and so I pull it up on each index. It's just cool to see where we're at. The S and P's have been bouncing around between a 50 percent and a 618. Really, since you know you back it up almost uh, the beginning of April. The Dow struggling, Boeing really getting crushed, the Dow at about a 50%, and then the Russell man um, under that 50% level, even today uh, catching a bid, but just cool levels to check out. Check it out on the front page of TFNN if you get a chance. Yeah, big time. And folks, yeah. that, that morning market report is out there every morning. So you want a quick rundown of where we are in the marketplace, great place to start out here. The, uh, you know, we'll see where this baby, uh, the, the S&Ps are going to need a lot more juice uh, right now uh, to basically get up and over this level. Uh, and they're, they're laying right at that uh, 0.618, which is pretty wild, yes. man. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow at 336. NASDAQ is up 89. S&Ps are up 29. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other Tigers and Tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 345. Nasdaq's up 99. S&Ps are up uh, 31. And, uh, Tom, something we haven't talked about in a long time, but I heard you uh, on the news this morning or on your show this morning. Uh, Bitcoin. This has right. been quite a climb, right? Get your Bitcoin 10,000 hat on, man. Look at this, man. 10,069 we hit this morning. Just to give you an idea, folks, okay, Bitcoin at the uh, March 13th was uh, 39.14. Pretty intense. Um, yeah, I mean, you almost um, basically got cut in half, you know. I had it uh, you had basically in terms of the, the run you had from February. You went from 10,670 I had all the way down to 4,200 on my charts, 10,600 to 4,200, and now I'm sitting within $30 of 10,000, man. Um, trading right with the market, except we're back basically at where we were as opposed to having any losses. Yeah, and the wild thing here, folks, okay, <laughs> the way this is traded is that it broke its downtrend that is out here from uh, June, which is saying Bitcoin can run to 13,800, you know. It, Bitcoin is such a hard thing to understand, man. I mean, I, I, I get it, but I really have a hard time understanding how you can buy it. <laughs> yeah, it only has value if somebody else is willing to pay something for right. it, no, right? It, Which it, is, and evidently they um, are. I mean, that's right. right. That's that. Evidently they are. That, and that's, but I think, that's what makes a market. But it's pretty intense, man. And I think what what what's tough to get over is but what happens if they decide they don't want to yeah that's that's the what not to get because it is just that it's only um something of value as long as it continues to be something of value and nothing else replaces it which i think is the worry too yeah so one of the tigers uh just brought up the point of uh, riot riot blockchain folks okay uh they operate a digital currency company focus on buying uh cryptocurrency and blockchain businesses so let's take a look at this. This is like, uh, oh, look at this is a joke. So they get revenue of uh, 6.6 .6 million a year. They lose 51 cents a year. 
So here, let's remember that number, 6.6. .6. They lose 51 cents. Oh, they, that's a great business model. So they, <laughs> they lose 15 million a year. They're grossing 6 million a year. Now, any, if, if you can't do that, folks, there's a problem. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that being said, the stock just went from 53 cents up to $1.83, man. Yeah. Wow. Unreal. Yeah. And this is, oh, this is pretty sick. Someone, these people trapped in this stock at $3,200. $3,200, folks, October of 2007. And then we can just even go to 2010 and just trapped in at $1,065. So evidently, uh, this has had uh, plenty of... It's not the first time that equities had some problems. Reverse stock splits, exactly. Yeah. So let's see, G, let's see, uh, GBTC, GB, GBTC, let's see what this one is. Oh, this, so uh, this is the Bitcoin trust. This is always intriguing, right? You know, yeah, what's the net asset value, right? Yeah, because what happens with this one, folks, is that you're trading at $12.21, you uh, Let's see. There you go. Net asset value as of yesterday's close was nine seventeen. Right. And so, it looks like we're only up twenty two cents at twelve twenty. So this closed basically at eleven ninety eight. About. Yep. Yeah. You're paying so, a thirty three percent premium to buy this. For what reason is this? <laughs> uh, well, the obvious one, right? You just could have bought it at six dollars in march and sold it at 12 regardless of the net asset value <laughs> I mean, that's, no, that's, that's, that's 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 right that's what, that's what that's, somebody says that's, but it's a dangerous that's, game that's, that's why i say it like that on. that's it's right. a dangerous game yeah. right pretty amazing and let's go back to riot again for a second because one of the tigers are saying that it, it may be a couple either pete nigerian or, or john that owns a piece of this i don't see them up here though yeah. Something to be aware on that equity. I mean, that, that company, even at $1.86, is a, the market cap was $55 million. It was down at $0.50 cents or something. That means the, the entire market cap of a quote-unquote publicly traded company probably would have been like $15 million. Um, if there was some brilliant blockchain technology going on in that company and it had a market cap of $15 million, somebody would secure that company for $15 million. So I don't yes. know what they have. You know, no, no doubt. Well, you're, you're paying the 15 million for the right to lose, how much, the, to lose 15 million. Because it, yeah, it, that's it, the problem, right, right? no matter right. what. But I just mean they're a blockchain company, you oh, know, yeah. that's an exploding industry, man. How is the company only worth $15 million if they have any real value to offer to the market? Seems like investors would want to come in and scoop that up, private equity, so, you know, what it is, it's just too easy at that price level. No, there's no doubt. Yeah. So let's go take a look at the uh, few of the, what we had yesterday, folks, is that you had these gold stocks running in a, in a monster way. Um, Royal Gold, ABC structure up, just blew away the B point. And this is a monster ABC up, by the way, folks, okay? 131 is your B, and 85 is your A, 86. You know, so uh, what is that, that 45 bucks? That's going to get you 55, 65, uh, 163. Uh, let me see what the high is. Or if, I believe if the high is, yeah, we're coming into it right now. So your high is uh, 138, and you're at 136. Okay. Uh, an Eco Eagle also uh, took off top side, had the volume behind the move also. And what, what happened with an Eco Eagle this week, I believe, is that that took out the six year consolidation also. Yeah, it did. Took out the $60. You're at 66 now. A uh, lot of big moves, man. And uh, we go back, you know, we get a Friday in the gold market, folks, which is always uh, a highly volatile structure <laughs> and you know we'll see whether we can stay flat out here uh if we do stay flat you can expect a run into the close folks because we hit 1710 this morning a rejected lower price here at 1726 and it, when you take a look at this what you're also going to see is that uh, it's not only an abc structure on the way up what we actually did here it looks to me like we just busted that downdraft let me get it, this one where are we right there from that high. Yeah, we did, and we did it with conviction, which is pretty cool. So you can see this if you're watching Tiger TV. 1788 is game right now, and it's actually an ABC structure on the way up where it had taken out that uh, uh, B point. And silver did. Silver got moving yesterday. Um, silver, highly volatile uh, equity, no, no doubt. Uh, but that uh, baby uh, 
Got some juice onto it. We go back to that S&P and that 2811, folks, is going to be the number here. Uh, we, got, we got up to it. We started out, you know, it just hit, uh, look at this, 2812 it just hit. And you're in, so we get five minutes into this bar, 2812. And it closed at 2811.25. And it was 2811 flat. Now you're underneath it. Now the, the battle's on again. These battles are something else, man. <laughs> they are. Hey, I got a chart up here of crude, right? I mean, yeah. um, these moves, especially in crude, I mean, yesterday, right up to 26.74, you back down and finish at 23 and change. Um, but at 2.15 Eastern time in particular, man, it'd be oh. interesting to see what happens today. The last two days, I mean, you look it up on Wednesday. That's right. We had almost a full dollar in a 15-minute bar. And then yesterday's action just the other way, but huge moves right at around 2.30, which is the expiration, um, which is the end of the day, 2.30, yes. um, for crude. So how about the end of the week, man? Um, just be aware of those. Maybe there's some action there. Get some defined risk trades in crude because huge moves on that 15-minute coming in at 2.15 no every doubt. day right now. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back. Hey folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is up 304. You get the NASDAQ up 103. S&Ps are up uh, 26. Let's get inside the Dow and uh, see what we have uh, moving the Dow industrials out here today. 
Uh, it looks like you got, uh, so this is a pretty wild, folks, okay? We have every Dow stock positive, yet you're only up 306 points. That is an anomaly. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, how about Home Depot, man? From 140 to now 235, the highs before this market collapse was 247. Um, and it would make sense, right? I mean, it, it, this is where everything got sold. People are still going to Lowe's. They're going to Home Depot. I mean, Lowe's went from 126. You got more than cut in half to 60. And Lowe's is up to 113. So similar action. I mean, just huge. Yeah. Well, you know, what you have uh, is that one of the things that probably has changed here is that, you know, we've always used our houses, but the bottom line is that we may be uh, entertaining, having more fun in our house on a continual basis, um, you know, going forward. I would forward. say so, yeah. completely. So yeah. build out that backyard, get a nice comfy space, right? Be comfy, get some get some good action at home. That's, yeah. That would build out the house in its entirety. Exactly. I right. agree. And so we let, watch this. You pull up Zillow, folks. Zillow, you know, is up 10% right now. Uh, and they, Decent pop. <laughs> yeah, they, they came out with their numbers. And it, yeah. it really had to do with the aspect of, I, I suspect, the, the CFO, the CEO, rather. Um, he's going to start buying houses again and flipping them. Uh, they had, I think, 1,700 at the beginning of this. Um, and now, that hasn't been a profitable business for them. Uh, but one I of remember the thing, going over this, yes. Yeah, it, it, it generated uh, $770 million in the first quarter, more than double the company took in in its core advertising business. Yeah, so they finished the first quarter with 1,791 homes on the books. Uh, they're going to start buying again. But what he, had, what, he had, what he had said in there, which I, I guess I actually heard this. Uh, I didn't hear it on a call. No, it must be in here somewhere. And what he was talking about, he was pretty funny, actually. He was talking about the aspect of how much he learned being at home. He has a bunch of kids, right? Yes. And so he was running the company, folks, from his bedroom. So his take on it is that, hey, listen, people are going to need an extra room now. You know, because this, and, and that companies are going to pay people, um, you know, like the Morgan Stanley's of the world and all of this, that, OK, if you're going to do a full operation at home, uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, you're going to be rearranged in some things. And he was yeah. just talking about himself being trapped in his bedroom that. He thought he had a big house until uh, all his kids are running around with their friends. <laughs> and you know what happens is already, right, already a lot of companies saying through the end of this year we're going to do things, or at least through September. You're talking about four or five months that it's like this is at least going here at a minimum, as in you have time to actually transition and move and benefit from that scenario. Even if we start back up real quickly, you still have, I mean, nothing is changing for four or five months completely. School year until summer ends, kids are back in school, a lot of big companies, tech companies especially, saying everyone's working at home through you yeah. know, maybe 2020 at least, and we'll go from there. No doubt. And yeah. then, you know, if we talk about retail, folks, okay, the, the, the bottom line is that retail, you had Neiman Marcus go bankrupt two days ago. so. You know, will and it, their bankruptcy is going to be um, a planned bankruptcy, meaning that they're actually going to try to stay in business. I don't know how they're going to do that because the Neiman Marcus brand doesn't seem to me, Tom, that you jump online and say, "Oh, listen, man, I want to go spend a thousand dollars on a sport coat. Let, let me order that." online <laughs> no right that's a shopping experience i yeah. would say for yeah. sure and then we have uh hertz hertz is you know bottom line they they're looking for financing right now uh it looks like they're going to be next avis is going to go do you want to loan a bunch of money to hertz the rental car company nope. right now no nope. yeah. it's an abc I mean, down too by the way folks you'll see this thing play out i did this in the in the workshop uh that you can actually see this on a much longer term basis that this was an ABC structure down. I mean, it blew away the B point going all the way back to November of 2016. And that's, you know, that's like, okay, and I've done this long enough that it's hard to comprehend that, okay, you go into a negative on an ABC, and when you do that, folks, okay, doesn't mean you go bankrupt. But 
it's always you could. A, yeah, it's always a, a big heads up. You it's know, just good fundamentally, right? I mean, even their marketing, man, they're geared towards corporate travelers, kind of a high-end rental car experience, you could say. Um, yeah. Let alone facing the competition of Uber already, man. But there's going to be a lot less travel for work. Period. End of sentence for sure. No doubt. And let's go to United. So watch United, folks. United straight into twenty three seventy nine. United had a reprice. It's going to reprice its bond sale because they didn't get enough people that want to buy it. Now, <laughs> so check this out. United Holdings is going to sweeten the yield on its $2.25 billion junk bond sale after investors expressed concerns about the aging fleet pledged as collateral. Uh, the airline is offering a yield of 11%, which was increased from the initial discussion, the low 9% deal. You know, this is where it always blows my mind that you know, you get 11 percent, and I understand that's a that's a huge amount of interest in the environment that we're in. But it blows my mind that they can actually get two billion dollars, and that is another company. I, that I agree, man. You're just buyer, throwing your money away. I mean, Mike, buyer, you know, buyer beware. I'm almost sitting oh. here laughing because um, they basically said, "Hey, how about you give us 2.5 billion dollars?" And if anything goes bad, we'll give you all these old planes we have. Right. No, totally. Totally. <laughs> what business wouldn't want to make that deal, right? And, and um, right being now. Being united right now. Right, yeah, and exactly. right now, planes aren't worth anything. Uh, there's plenty of yeah. planes, man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, planes are all over the place, folks. Uh, and this is the one I know you talked to Jason Paff a couple times this week, and just you guys talking about, you know, airline travel was still open. You could go online, you could book a flight. If yes. you wanted to, um, and yet airlines shut down by 95%. So as things reopen, airlines have always been open. There's not going to be a complete resurgence. You know, I'm not on there booking trips for next week to even Boston, let alone going to, you know, California or even the possibility of traveling to the Bahamas or Mexico or something like that for vacation. Not happening, man. No, there's no doubt. Holly wants to say hi. Come here. Come here. This is our this is our dog Harley, folks. Come here, come on over and say hi. Come on. Harley get, needs his own show, get man. Get up here. Come on, come on. Say hi. We need the canine population say, represented. Well, there hi. he is. There's say hi to everyone. Shepherd. Say Hello, hi. Harley. Say roof, roof. Look at him. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it, man. Hey, that's 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 the new normal, man. I watch Bloomberg, and you have world class anchors broadcasting from home with children in the background, man. Yeah, totally. What are you gonna do? Yeah. It's beautiful. It's it, perfect. That it, it is, man. Totally. Uh, unreal. Okay, yeah. so uh, inside the uh, well, let's let's go take a look at uh, Amazon, the, the king out here. So Amazon right now, yeah, running its highs, fifth up fifteen thirty five. You know, your high, and this has a high volume high, folks, which it wants to go after that uh, twenty six or twenty twenty four seventy five. Yeah, twenty four seventy five is game. You can see it, man. That's hey. Can we jump to Apple? I mean, we talked about the Nasdaq, yes. remarkable pop. Apple, man, it's just been a straight shot almost from 220. I mean, the last run, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, right there, April 21st, right? I mean, yeah. boy, no pain whatsoever. I mean, 306 for Apple right now. Look at that. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials up 347. Nasdaq's up 111. S&Ps are up 30. We'll come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 330. Nasdaq is up 108. S&P is up uh, 27. And if we look at the NDX 100, folks, the Qs, what you are going to see is that this is a Wyckoff term. You are at ICE. I mean, ICE is laid out here at 224.25. And uh, it's exactly where we are. Uh, so it's going to be intriguing. And th what that was, folks, that was the gap down uh, in, let's see, uh, February 21st. It's definitely not going to have the volume. You know, we'll, we'll see uh, bottom lines if it can hold price. Uh, meaning the 224, 25, and that's right where we are at right now. There's, there's no doubt about that. And there's a couple of uh, tigers, uh, and tigers are saying out there, nothing makes sense to me this week. You have a 14.7% unemployment. We keep gapping up every night. Uh, I cannot envision the economy going back even a fraction of the January 2020 highs in the next three years. And then uh, one of our tigers is saying, yeah, well, the market is not the economy. Uh, you know, that being said, uh, you know, uh, fundamentally, they claim that the market is the economy. Uh, but I agree. I mean, <laughs> they, well, no, because we see it in the NASDAQ, man. I mean, you could have Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Netflix, that's right. some chip stocks. Um, Drive Intel, everything. Yeah. The, and, and, and you could, as you see it, you're going to get, I mean, Uber even, there's going to be a transition to more automation over the next five years, okay? And those companies probably even greater influenced by AI coming into things and all that stuff. So you could easily have a difference there of unemployment with the markets escalating with just huge companies like that are into technology benefiting. Yeah, there, there's no doubt. And then yeah. we got uh, a man, Dave, saying, will beers have any money left when they are finally right? Well, I'd, 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 I'd definitely disagree with that because guess what, folks? So the bottom line is that um, that is a, an, a sequence of not going shot because the bottom line is that what you're forgetting about there uh, is the aspect of uh, the amount of money that was made in two weeks going from uh, 3,100 uh, down to 2,100. So, uh, but that's how, that's how markets basically are set up because what happens, folks, is you crawl up very slowly. When you come down and you are in that market and you catch it, you can make more money in basically two to three weeks than anyone's made in two or three years. Then, the, and so I understand the um, argument. I understand how that's set up. 
But what I've seen more than anything is that that is set up when people have never caught a downtrend and it, for the amount of bread that's actually made. So uh, in this particular case, I, I suspect we're going to see the exact same thing, meaning on this S&P. Because when you're, when you're moving very slowly like this, the bottom line, what is going to be the catalyst? We'll find out. You know, but the So what's interesting is we're at a VIX of 29, I believe, for the first time since uh, almost February. What was yesterday's low? 30, 37. Do we get down there? Yeah, we're talking about a VIX since March 3rd was the last time. Is that correct? March 3rd, a full two months sitting at 29.73. So as in, you know, calmness is setting in. Um, but I would look for some volatility to continue, man. It's only a matter of time, unfortunately, that there will be at least local flare-ups. Hopefully, we'll, we can test, trace, treat, whatever it is, and that process becomes. But the market's going to get a little freaked out from headlines at some point in the future. What are you um, talking about, man? The market's going to keep going higher, man. Everything is great. We can't. We are we gonna, are we going to be up ten percent from all time highs as this is persisting, and we have twenty million people out of work. How does that happen, right? Uh, now it's, With it's, negative interest rates and all that happening, it's not impossible, man. Well, you, hey, let's talk about that because what did happen yesterday, folks, so, so check this out. Uh, we started out the day yesterday that you had the January uh, in negative. And now look at this one. If you're watching Tiger TV, folks, okay, our bottom line is that you're going to see November. You got two of them. Not in, yeah. Three of them now. November. That's two more, yeah. November. December and January now are saying that re negative rates are coming at us, folks. And, you know, granted, right now we are only at uh, zero to 0.25. But, yes. you know, actually going into negative rates is going to be a whole different ball game. And as one of the Tigers is saying here, uh, yeah, negative rates have worked r r real well in Europe. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's the worry. It's so hard to get your head wrapped around negative rates, man. I mean, it, it's it's just, uh, you know, it's... And over in Switzerland, folks, we, we were talking about this a few weeks ago. What has happened in Switzerland... Yeah, watch this for a second. I'll show you something. So you're looking at a 10-year rate across the world. If we go down to Switzerland, Switzerland right now is uh, at a negative one-half of 1%. One well, what has happened in Switzerland was the first one to do this, if you had large accounts, meaning I, I believe it was over 5 million francs, uh, you were getting charged, folks, okay, to put your money in the bank. Now, what Switzerland has done out here uh, the last couple of weeks is that because of the amount of folks, meaning big companies, that are looking for cash, they have gone to their bigger invest uh, depositors and said, hey, listen, you'll, you can stop paying and we will actually pay you Two percent, you know, if in fact you let us borrow your money so that we can give it to someone else. Sure. So that's pretty intriguing in itself. And I think what you can find out inside of that is like, okay, where is the real market? You know, is the market negative? Well, to me, it would be saying, you know, it's not negative now if they're basically saying, I'm going to give you two percent. You know, they'll give all the smaller accounts, that they'll make them ch charge to be in the bank, but the larger accounts are... So I think those differentials might be laying down a lot on, on us coming in the futures, and we know that that happened in the oil market. Yes. You know, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Wild. And yeah. Now, How about, um, can we jump over to Uber? Because we talked yeah. about Hertz a little bit. We got Uber earnings last night. Um, Uber Eats growing exponentially in a big way. Uber business, I think they had their ride business down almost 80% in April, but they said they were seeing a clawback already, so maybe the worst of it over. Uh, the last three weeks, they've seen increases, something to that effect in their ride hailing business. Um, Uber Eats exploding, and, and, and the conference call, man, um, remarkable. The numbers come out right at 4 o'clock. Conference call began at 4.30. And it traded from $30 up to almost $34, but we're back to about $32.20 um, on their numbers. Yeah, Uber's business diver. Uh, no, I was looking for Uber Eats, but. Let's see. Investment. Yeah, yeah they, I, I, you know, I, I expect if, if across the country, folks, that in our big cities, if they start breaking down Main Street, meaning that, you know, get the cars off Main Street so the merchants have a chance to make more money without paying that rent, I think you're going to see Uber and Lyft do very well. And, you know, 
You can picture, I mean, I think that's one of the best ideas out there for a long period of time. We get rid of the cars, and what happens, whether it's the sidewalks, folks, or the streets, that helps the merchant no matter what they're selling because they're not paying rent on that space. You know, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, I mean, Tampa, yeah. my, uh, Tampa and St. Pete, what they are going to do is that they, thus far, my understanding is that they haven't closed the streets yet, but they're going to basically let these merchants go where the cars are parked. Okay. But as I said yesterday, I'd have a hard time sitting where cars are normally parked and I get a car going by me 40 miles an hour, man. I'm, I, I'm not I, interested I, in sitting in that seat. I agree. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Dow, Dow Industrials right now are up by 296. You get the NASDAQ up 94. S&Ps are up 24. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is uh, uh, up 300. Nasdaq's up 90. S&Ps are up 24. You get uh, gold uh, down 360. Gold's been fluctuating between down $5 and up 2 or 3. Uh, the notes and bond market uh, basically staying flat. And King Dollar. King Dollar's giving it up a bit. So uh, coming into, uh, we had a slew of earnings yesterday, man. That was a, that was a big number. I don't. It was. It was. Um, I think you had Dropbox out there, right? Zillow, Uber. Um, 
Roku, how about Roku out with their numbers, man? Roku seeing declining advertising problems was, was their woe, um, but down like 7.6% today. Been quite a run for them, uh, but some negative action on their numbers. Yeah. Talking about uh, declining advertising, which, then, which you could. Uh, no, go ahead. No, I just what you can see, obviously. That's sure. It. And then we had Shopify. So, Pigeon, this is how strong Shopify is, folks. So Shopify <laughs> is coming out with a secondary, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know, this stock, okay, it has been, you know, in March it was trading at uh, $305. It's at $711. Yeah, $711. And they only had to give a, uh, a discount of 4.5% last night, Tommy. Okay. Okay, to push out shares. So picture this for a second, folks. They're going to push out shares at 700 bucks. And wh 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 where I'm going with this is that, you know, we we're at $595 five days ago. But right. yet someone is going to buy millions of shares at 700 <laughs> Yeah. And, yeah, um, and what is, you know, 2 million shares at, at 700 would be $1.4 So just under that number, kind of, raising, you know, $1.3, $1.2 billion. And they, they, not bad, man. Bring How's it in. Let's go. strength, right? Put it in the bank. Exactly. Big time. Stay right there, folks. we got Think and Swim coming up next. Then I'm Mr. Bowser Tap and Steve Rhodes, Dave. Wait. And then I'll be up. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Real. Go get him, folks.